Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matuto kasama si Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! K-12 Revised Curriculum Science Grade 3 Quarter 1 Lesson 1 Topics 5 Senses and Natural Events This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Let's start! Learning competencies Identify objects, activities, or natural events observed in their local environment that can be explained by science. Day 3 When you wake up in the morning, what are the first things you see, hear, smell, touch, or taste? Share your answers to your classmates. Activity number three. What can I describe about activities around me? You will be grouped into four. You will plan how you can act out the activity. You may use objects in the classroom as props. Be careful when acting and using the props. Your group will perform for 10 to 15 seconds in front of the class. Group task. Group 1, harvesting rice. Group 2, riding a jeepney. Group 3, buying in the market. Group 4, catching fish. Let us answer the following questions. 1. Do our senses help us describe objects and everyday activities in our community? Answer, yes. Our senses help us know what things look like, sound like, feel like, smell like, and taste like. We use our eyes to see things like cars, houses, or trees. We use our ears to hear people talking or birds singing. We use our hands to feel if something is hot or cold. These help us describe what is around us. Number 2. What is observing? When we use our senses to describe things, there's another word for it. That word is observing. So, when you look, listen, touch, smell, or taste something to learn more about it, you are observing. Number 3. Science and Observing Observing is a basic skill in science. When we describe the world around us using our five senses, we are observing. Scientists use this skill to learn more about nature and things around us. Number 4. Science Activities and Experiments In science, we do activities like experiments. Experiments help us answer questions and learn new things. We observe what happens and find out why things work the way they do. Sharing of Answers 1. Why do we do activity? Two, what are questions you have about the activity that you don't know the answer to? Three, 
3. Was it easy or difficult to describe the activities? Four, how did science help you in describing the activities? Possible answer, when we identify and describe activities, we observe them. When we observe, we do science. How can science help in answering the questions you have about the activity? Answer, science will help us answer your questions by doing science activities like experiments. Generalizations 1. Why is it important to use our senses in describing objects or activities around us? Answer, it is important to use our senses because they help identify and compare objects and activities around us. 2. How is science present in identifying and describing activities? When we identify and describe activities, we observe them. When we observe, we do science. Three, how can science help in answering the questions we have about activities? Science activities like experiments can help answer questions. Evaluating learning. Write three sentences describing an activity. Tell them that each sentence includes at least one sensory detail. Sight, sound, touch, smell, or taste. Day 4 Do you know what natural events are? Have you experienced natural events? Natural event is a happening caused by nature and not by humans. Here are some. Rain. Water falls from the sky. Sunrise and sunset. The sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening. Wind blowing, air moves and makes things sway. Thunder and lightning, bright flash and loud sound during a storm. Earthquake, the ground shakes. Volcano eruption. Hot lava comes out of a mountain. Flood. Water covers the ground after heavy rain. Rainbow. Colorful arc in the sky after rain. Clouds forming. White or gray shapes in the sky. Leaves falling. Leaves drop from trees, especially when it's windy or during certain seasons. So you will be grouped into four. Plan how you can act out natural events. You may use objects in the classroom as props. Some of you can pretend to be a natural force like wind, water, or ground. Work together and be creative in showing the natural event through your actions. 
Group Task, Group 1, Summer, Group 2, Typhoon, Group 3, Earthquake, Group 4, Flood. Answer the following questions. 1. What is the natural event called? 2. Can you describe the natural events? What can you see, hear, feel, or smell? 3. What sense did you use to describe what you have observed? Answer this and share your answers to your classmates. 1. Was it easy or difficult to describe the natural events and their activities? Number 2. How did science help you in describing natural events? Answer. When we identify and describe natural events, we observe them. When we observe, we do science. We use the senses in describing natural events. How important are the senses in science? Answer, observation is something we do in science. The senses allow us to observe. Making generalizations. Why is it important to use our senses in describing natural events around us? Answer, it is important to use our senses because they help us understand and respond to what is happening around. Number 2. How is science present in identifying and describing natural events? Answer, when we identify and describe natural events, we observe them. When we observe, we do science. Number three, how important are the senses in science? Observation is something we do in science. We use our senses to observe. Evaluating learning. Write three sentences describing a natural event that was not covered earlier. Maraming salamat sa panonood. Huwag kalimutang i-like at mag-subscribe para sa higit pang educational content. I-click ang bell icon para ma-update ka sa ating mga bagong video. Salamat!